Hey, shoot. Hey, Ron, we're back. I'm pretty or sure. Where are we? I'm pretty sure I'm back, at least. I might potentially be front. Well, either way. We are here. So, we're pretty odd. Get used to it. Yeah. So, I have a question. Yeah? Could I relay our conversation earlier, or would we get in trouble for sexual content? Uh, probably get in trouble for sexual content. Poop. Or at least, you know, inappropriate material. I don't get this thing, you know, age-filtered. Apparently, that's just... Yeah, and apparently I... It wouldn't let me upload my one of my episodes with the original title, which was Muppet Wang. So... That's a shame. For all they know, I could have meant, you know, the Chinese word for king. Yes, which is Muppet. No. Hard ass. Let's start again. I've got a good bit of uh, sand. That should last me for now. Get back down into the home of castle water, or whatever the hell I'm calling this. Steve. I'll get back down into the Steve. It's important to get into the Steve. Yes. I've got. You know what? I don't need. I don't need the zombie flesh. That's what I can throw away. Yeah, zombie flesh is delicious. I mean, useless. The fact that you keep eating zombie flesh worries me. It yeah. makes me think that maybe you're gonna turn into a zombie. Maybe. I need my brains. No, oh, maybe. About it. See, you're totally planning it. Nah, nah. I could never turn into a zombie. The hours are absolutely hellacious. What? Think about it. It's not like you get to ever take a break. It's not like there's some sort of off day for zombies. You, you know, you're, you're a zombie all day, every day. So, you're saying it's more like a job than a lifestyle? Well, yeah, because think about it. How often do you see zombie, zombie, well, how often do you see, like, zombie organizations, zombies rights, you know? No, it's a job. They work for themselves. They're self-employed. Well, I mean, if they're self-employed, then it's their own goddamn fault that they don't take any time off. That that literally means that you could totally take time off if you so desired. Well, no, because you never make enough money when you're self-employed to actually take time off. Well, especially not if you're self-employed as a zombie, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, the pay sucks because basically you eat brains. Yeah. The hours suck because 24 hours a day, you're looking for brains. And, you know, it's pretty much all brains, 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 brains. Mm. Well, At least it's not Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah. No, it's all about the brains. You know, people, and the zombies these days are forgetting that it used to be about the flesh eating, too. You know, you're right. And it did used to also be about the flesh eating. Yeah, I mean, yeah, brains were a big part of it, but it's not like that was the end-all be-all of being a zombie. It was just, it was an aspect. It was part of a larger culture, I suppose, would be the correct word for it. They're, they're a very, very interesting people with many traditions. You know, or at least they used to be, now it's work. Now it's a profession. What is wrong with you? You can make a decent living being a zombie. I mean, well, or at least I should say you can survive being a zombie. As long as no one shoots you in, you know, the brain or separates your brain stem from... But other than that, it's not bad. You were just talking about how terrible it is. Well, I mean, other than the hours being awful and the work being awful, it's not bad. But that just means everything about it is awful. Well, no, because you know, at least you're your own boss. There's no one who can tell you, hey, you, you'd better, you know, get up on your brain's quota. Because, you know, there's no... Oh, no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad.
bad, bad, bad. You okay? Oh, thank God. Uh, while we were talking about zombies, a zombie snuck up behind me. Oh. And, um, I was, you know, facing lava. Or, my back was to lava. Oops. I mean, yeah, I mean at least you get to make, you know, at least you get to be your own boss. There's no brains quota. There's no getting yelled at. The only people you have to, or the only thing you really have to worry about is people, you know, showing up and hitting you in the head with a pickaxe or a machete. But that's a pretty valid, or that's a pretty big drawback when you think about it. Well, yeah, but, you know, as long as you don't go near people with pickaxes or machetes, you're generally okay. Well, yeah, but, I mean, there are a lot of people that have pickaxes and machetes. Well, yeah. And if you want to get technical about it, you can get a machete at Walmart for $7. And I know, because I've had two. They're not very good, but they would definitely be good enough to, say, take down a zombie. Well, hell, you can get a pickaxe at, um, Home Depot for relatively cheap, and they're actually good. Yeah, I mean, a pickaxe is a lot more, uh, reliable a tool, at least in strength, but the issue with that is that, you know, it'll only, um, be good for one hit before you get suddenly stuck on the head of a zombie. That's true. Because it is a much more powerful item, but at the same time, it does not necessarily free itself as it is being removed. Come on. Ugh. Oh, shit. I thought I was in the free. No. Move. Oh. I made it back to the... I made it back to safety with one heart. Hooray. But... I don't know. It isn't... All right, yeah, you don't have to worry about anybody yelling at you. But the hours are terrible, the work is terrible, and everything else about it is terrible. Well, that's Why the hell would you want to do it? I don't know. Some people just, you know, find jobs that no one else wants and absolutely love them. I mean, there's no logic behind it. There are people who absolutely love being trash collectors. Why wouldn't there be people who absolutely love being zombies, even though... But what purpose does a zombie serve in our economy? Well, honestly, the economic uh, position of the zombie is kind of unknown at this point in time. There's very little data collected on um, the zombie and its effects on, say, you know, a neighborhood's... Well, a neighborhood's... Uh, general value, yeah. I don't know, I would think zombies would bring the uh, neighborhood value down. Well, no, the reason I'm saying is no data has been collected is because they eat the census takers. Ah, well, there you go. So, that yeah. That would be a problem. So, yeah, that's, that's really where the whole thing comes to a bit of a problematic position, because and you can't really say one way or another, at least factually, zombies are a danger to a neighborhood, because there's no proof. Because there's no one around after enough of a period of time to, you know, really assert that point further. Because they've well, been eaten yeah, by zombies. Well, yeah, but I mean, if everybody just, you know, starts being eaten by zombies and there's a zombie in the neighborhood. I mean, it's not like you can't just make that logical conclusion. Well, that's not what actual, um... You can't make just make a logical conclusion based on hearsay. You've got to actually find factual data. Otherwise, how would it stay up in a debate? Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to, as we were talking about zombies. Uh, well, but you never know when you might have to debate a zombie. In which case, my advice is bring a pickaxe or a Walmart machete. Yeah, that's good advice, actually. But yes, if you are ever forced to debate a zombie, bring a pickaxe or a machete, and just hope that they're not a real zombie and just an actual politician. It's hard to tell the difference because neither of them have functional brains. Or souls. Yeah, or souls. Oh, hey, Mr. Spider. Hey, Mr. Spider. Asshole. Um, I thought I was back where I'm supposed to be, but now I'm not so sure. Because this is a place I've never been before. I might have just missed my turn off. 
Nope, here I am. I just hadn't lit it up. Alright, did you make it back to the house or something? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm sorry, I wanted to laugh, you know, like that at you for suggesting that I had done something as useful as making it back to the house. Ah, uh, fair enough. I make dangerous staircases. Have you noticed this? Yes, I have. I have no idea which way the house is. I don't know either. I thought you laid down torches. Well, I moment I'm in, um, er, looking to see what direction I need to make my house go farther. Yeah, uh, or the my house, my building project, I should say. Don't you mean our house? Of course I do. I may just have to get a freaking. No, nah, no, nah, I can't cheat and just, you know, do something useful like install world edit on here so that I can make it absolutely terrifically huge flat piece of ocean floor I can build on. I thought you laid down torches. Oh, here we go. I found them. Sheep. Lots of sheep. Yeah, sheep, uh, I swear they said that monsters don't spawn anymore. Monsters don't spawn? Or, uh, sheep and stuff don't spawn anymore, but I've been seeing a lot of them. As have I, sir. As have I. Hmm. I mean, maybe there was just a shit ton of sheep here to begin with. There are some cows. We have cows, right? Yeah, we've got cows. Okay. We've got four at the moment. I don't uh, know what needs to be done. Orgy? What? 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 Nothing. Are you, were you just suggesting a cow orgy? Well, that's what most of the time you do with them in Minecraft. Have sex with them? Well, no, the cows have the orgy. Oh. You just watch. That's not at all creepy. No, it's not. I see, we have a chicken in here. Have you laid any eggs recently? No, you haven't. Wait, yes you have. Ha! Fuck it. Hey. Fuck, it's not another chicken. Aww. Oh, anyway. Man, yeah, this wheat grows fast. But I still want to build an auto farm. Yeah. As soon as I can... I apparently killed a cow and lost its meat and didn't realize it until way late. Oops. And I have no idea where the hell that... Ow! Where the hell that, uh, that cow went. Or where I killed that cow. I'm gonna go... So. Portugal. Sure, Portugal is as good a guess as any. Huh. Alright, here's... Oh, there it is. Yay! Cow meat. It is very good to eat. Yes. Alright, now I have to try and figure out... Is that coming from that way, or is it going that way? I think it's coming from that way. What? This line of torches. Ah. It is not. It is coming from that way. Or it is going that way. Did you find the deep underground hallway with the line of torches that we constantly can't figure out which direction it's supposed to be? No. Ah. Did you I'm, find I'm, I'm trying to... This is a line of torches that goes nowhere! Is it the one by the hole that we were um, at previously? No, it's the one by the above ground lava stream. Oh. I don't even know where the hell that is. I hear a spider somewhere. I hate spiders. I hit that sheep with some snowballs. Sheep loves snowballs. I'm, I'm pretty sure you didn't appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I can head up and... Spot your name. You're yawn hard. Yep, that was just a fucking line of torches completely randomly and you know, with no purpose. There's a line of vines just hanging down from nowhere. Yeah. Going nowhere. Oh my god! Hmm? I found a swamp. Oh, then you're not far at all. 
I'm gonna kill this sweet natured cow. Yay! Death to the innocent! Yay! What orgy? Ah. Uh. Uh, it's probably bad that I say things like death to the innocent and yeah, like that happily and then think and one day we'll be parents. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one day when we grow up. Yeah. Yeah, one day when we're actually adults. I found some sugar cane. Do we need sugar cane? Yeah, I think so. Bitches love sugar cane. I think I might just end up TPing to you. Yeah, you seem... I seem to only be getting farther away. Not even sure. Do we need any brown mushrooms? I don't know. No, that's not good. What? Um, I love you. What happened? I almost died. Uh, you want me to TP or do you want to TP? Oh shit. Hmm. I almost died and I didn't get any fucking thing for it. Hmm. There's like running water in this one area. You don't say. Maybe you said that and I'm standing under a waterfall. <laughs> Shit. There's got to be a simple way to do this where I don't die. I believe most people call that God mode. No, I think I have myself wedged in here, right? Uh -huh. So I should be okay. So I can collect this iron. Ah. Even though it still totally took forever as though I were trying to collect it through, uh, water. I hate that. It's like I'm not actually underwater. But it's gonna make me mine like I am. Yes, yeah, because I'm close enough to it, apparently, that it counts. Yeah. I'll just take down this damn hill here. Sorry, mountain here. No! Hmm? Oh my god! Freedom! Oh. Hey, freedom! Eh, there we go. Uh, maybe there should be zombie rights organizations. I don't know. You know, we have a uh, annual zomb er, zombie march here. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, there's more to the viewers. We have, um, it's basically everyone gets together and dresses up like zombies, or possibly is zombies, and, you know, marches Sh for. Something. I'm not sure what really. Potato. The hell of it. Potato salad rights. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I've always wanted to do it, but you know, I don't have. Uh, I actually don't have enough clothing to risk ripping a set up. Or not even risk to you know throw away a set that would be torn into rags to be worn and look you know zombieish. That's okay. I have clothing that looks like that already. <laughs> Well, so do I, technically. Uh, come on, give me more dirt. Alright, I'm... Are you somewhere relatively safe? Um... Let me check. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Wow, there are cats everywhere. Yeah. That... Oh, wow, for a second there... It took a second for uh, the the scenery to render, so there was just sheep floating over nothing. What the hell is that? What? Oh, I think that's a a a thing. What? I said I think that's a thing. Okay. That was that's a squid glitching through the wall. Oh, I hate it. You seem to have made some changes in here. Only that I moved around the workbench because I needed more furnaces for making glass. Mm. 
What am I even doing? I don't know. Me neither. Filleting a chicken? No, I think I'm getting food. Oh. The kitties are watching me eat. They're like real cats. Like, where's ours? <laughs> Bitch. Where's our fucking food? Just gonna sit there and eat in front of us, huh? Yes, I am. Because you're digital cats. That's racist. How the hell is that racist? I don't know. Cats are people, too. They're digital cats. Digital cats are digital people, too, then. If you're digital, you're not a people. Well, if you're a cat, you're not a people, but they act like it. Well, now, I would, I would definitely say that cats are definitely some form of people. Yes. That was weird. What? Oh, I, um shift clicked some stuff out of a furnace and then for some reason it hush cats and then for some reason it put all of the um or it turned all of the stuff that was cooking into the finished product huh but only for a second that's weird it was i was frightened i panicked oh yeah one of these doesn't yeah, that one's still burning. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um, this can probably come out of here. Of I'll put that in the food chest. Oh, there's a good place for bones. I've got a good amount of sand. Food, to food. In. Um, up here is where I'm putting the cloth. Mm -hmm. Down here is... Oh my god, I'm gonna organize these chests. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Eventually, I'm going to change what is currently our wheat garden into the new chest room. Not a bad idea. Uh, it's reasonably big. Oh my god. None of this shit makes sense. No, it doesn't. Not a damn bit of it. Oh my god. This is, this is fucking ridiculous. Do I have any feathers anywhere? Any feathers at all? Like, whatsoever? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're, we are featherless. Which is a shame, because we have a shit ton of flint. Yeah, we could make some good, uh, or a nice number of arrows. If we had anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me put the spear bow up somewhere. Why are there... What the hell is flaming cream? Or uh, flaming cream? Oh, that's something we got from the nether. Flaming cream? That's what it's coming up as, flaming cream. Oh, blaze cream. Um, or that's blaze, uh, from evil slimes. Ah. It uh, does something in potion making, I think. I haven't done anything with potions in a long time. No, sit down, kitty. Worried that he was going to die a horrible death? No, I was worried that he was going to get up and start running around and you know, being a cat. And stand on the chest you're trying to get into? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jeff, and I will always remember that. Remove any previous joy you may have experienced from running a cat. I still, I still like having kitties. kitties. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> it's just, uh, this is a man, well, he, he does own a cat, but, or a cat, but it's just, uh, yeah, this is a man who knows what it's like to own a cat. I still love kitties. Oh, so do I. You can't take away my kitty love. Oh. I'm pretty sure the ASPCA tries to avoid that. Oh. Oh, you ass. You know that's not what I meant. I know. You meant my love of kitties. Yes, I have a fondness for felines. 
You know, the funny thing is, whenever I'm at work, I remember how ugly you are. Uh-huh. No, seriously, though. Whenever I'm at work, like, people will bring in their dogs and shit, even though it clearly says animals aren't allowed in the building unless they're, you know, work animals. Yeah. But anyway, nobody says anything about it, so I don't give a shit. Yeah. But, um... Where was I going with that? Anyway, people will bring their, uh, their pets in and all. And, um... It's like, you know, suddenly there's a fucking dog walking around Home Depot, and it's just like, Oh, it's a puppy! Oh, hello, puppy! And then it's like, later, I sit there thinking about it, it's like, you know, I don't give a shit about dogs. Yeah. But I mean, they're, they're great as long as there's somebody else in there just here for me to, you know, pet them, and then they go away. Yeah, I, I'm not a dog owner. I could not own one. I like them for a few seconds if they like me. But dogs don't like me. Everyone, I've always, I've always heard two things apparent, or two things from dog owners for the most part, which is, or well, most dog owners, not all, but it's usually something along the lines of, never trust anyone who doesn't like, or who my, uh, or I'd never trust anyone who my dog doesn't like, and, huh, why, or that's funny, my dog usually likes everyone, but for some reason it's trying to eat your face. <laughs> Uh, yes, apparently I'm the most fucking untrustworthy person on the planet. It's true. Yeah. You're shifty, baby. Shifty. I suppose so. I hold shift all the time. It's true, he does. I've seen him do it. Especially playing Minecraft. Exactly. You know what, why don't I just take these... ...and put all the shit back... And figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Can I put chests on glass? Um, I don't know. Yes. There you go then. Okay, so. It's good to know. Oh wow, my, my video is gonna be really fucking interesting. Yeah, well, my video uh, was an expedition for sand. So. My video is going to be <coughs> infinitely more interesting than your video. Yes. I hear a spider. I hear zombies. I hear zombies and spiders. They're probably look. Or the zombies are probably just looking at for ha or looking for handouts. Ignore them. Brain handouts. Yeah, because a lot of the time, at least in nicer neighborhoods. People aren't really down with the whole them tackling you and taking your brain. I mean, let's be honest, in spite of the fact that it is a career choice, it is a criminal career choice because you have to steal brains. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? Some people just like living their lives on the wrong side of the law. So you're saying that being a zombie is, is a criminal choice, a criminal career choice. Ergo, it would logically follow that it would make the value of a neighborhood go down. Well, that's the, that's generally the uh, theory. But, once again, no way to prove it. I'm putting shit in this chest. For whatever furnaces are done cooking things and put glass in. Or put... Oh, no, Sand? Put glass, yeah. Alright, I guess I should put gravel and mossy cobble and sandstone in here, too. We'll just put all of our little stones. Well, we've got a few minutes left before we are done for today. So. This is horribly boring. Yeah, it is. It, it's really just god-awfully boring. That's why I was hoping my babble might provide some sort of, you know, distraction while they're sitting there going, What the hell is wrong with him? Why are there so many torches? Because you can always use more torches. Put them in your fucking inventory. Well, in all fairness, I've been removing them from my inventory. Where are the torches, anyway? I have them all now. Do you want some? Sure. Just give me a stack. There. Yay! And it's time to call it. So. 
Why is there a mushroom in here? Why isn't that with the food? I don't know. Why is there coal in every chest? Everywhere. I don't know. Why is there bread in all of the chests? What is wrong with you? Why are you putting my block of clothes down in every chest? You asshole! There's a fucking... There is at least one stack of goddamn... the hell is it called? Lapis in every chest, too! Why? I don't know. There are, like, half stacks of fucking... coal everywhere! Like, in the same chest is another not full stack! Why? Why? Why are you doing, doing this to me? Uh, anyway, this is... Why is there a stone in the wood chest? <laughs> there is no need for there to be close stone in the fucking wood chest! That's where wood goes! What are you doing now? You son of a bitch! Stop it! Alright. Stop opening it! What are you doing? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm going to die. Alright, well then I'll stop. Alright. You unleashed a cat. We'll, we'll never, never get in that chest, chest again. <laughs> well, that's one of yours. No, that's not, not yours. yours. It is? Oh, oh no, no, wait. All oh, yours are sign you, aren't they? I, I only own one uh, cat in this playthrough. Okay, then it is one of mine. So, this is uh, where we're going to call it, guys. No, we need, we need to get this cat off, off this chest. chest. That's that's for a later time. We're at, The timer ended like okay, three okay, minutes okay, ago. Okay, okay. Why, Why is that sliding around and walking on its butt? butt? Because it's a cat. And it has worms. Anyway, anyway. peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs>